Do you know how to start a software development project? Are you looking for a framework to guide you through this complicated process? Let's explore the seven phases of the software development lifecycle, aka SDLC. So, what is SDLC? It is a framework that defines the stages involved in the creation of software application. The software development lifecycle comprises seven stages. Step 1 Requirement gathering and analysis. 2 Planning. 3 Design. 4 Software development. 5 Testing. 6 Deployment. And 7 Maintenance. So it ends now with determining the necessity of a new software to reach the business strategy goal. In the event of a problem or opportunity, possible solutions are submitted and assigned to decide the optimal one. Following that, the product owner or project manager will have to outline the requirement of the app. For instance, a mobile banking app will require a user recitation. When the requirement gathering is done, the project team will have a meetup to conduct the requirement analysis with input from client, sell, market research report, and subject matter expert. Let's come back to the earlier example. The user recitation will need a username input field, password, and submit button. With the first time user, EQYC might be adapted with face scan and ID capture. Based on the analysis, the team will determine the project approach and execute a product feasibility analysis from technical, operational, and financial aspects. One of these will be documented via a software requirement certification SRS, would then be used as a point of reference for the next stage. Now that we have completed the requirement gathering and analysis, it's time to move on to the planning stage. To have a comprehensive action plan, you will need to consider elements like cost estimation, required resources, technology stack, while evaluating quality assurance requirement and risk identification. With the outcome of the product feasibility analysis from stage 1, you can define the appropriate technical method that should be implemented for the project to run smoothly with minimum risk. From here, we will move to the design stage with going to create detail about the required standard, features, and activity that fulfill the functional specification of the proposed system. Some essential design components are architecture, user interface, platform, programming language, database relationship, and security. The fourth stage software development is where the real work begins, in particular when developers are brought on to do the coding. This would include using a flowchart and sort code management to ensure the process of the system is properly organized and keep track of the code changes. The next day, testing. This day involves system integration and testing, normally carried out by QA engineer. They usually deploy a range of framework to perform unit tests and automation compilation. Another part of this phase is verification and validation, both of which will help ensure the program's successful completion. Once the product is tested, it is either deployed in the production environment or undergo a user acceptance testing where it is tested in the real business environment with a limited segment. The seventh and final phase in term maintenance and regular required update. This step is when you can fine tune the system to enhance performance, add new features, or meet additional user requirements. To implement SDLC, you will have to select an appropriate model. Some popular ones are Waterphone model, Interactive, Agile, and Rapid Application Development. Here are some best practices of SDLC that you can follow. Development team often use source control to protect the working code by storing it in a single play with secure and locked access. It can either be a physical site where files are kept and retrieved in a room, or a virtual area where customer can log in for a cloud-based programming environment via an encrypted channel. 
Another element is continuous integration, aka CI, which is usually employed to ensure every element is compatible throughout the development cycle. CI automates the incorporation of code chain from various contributors to a single software. Without CI, development team would have to integrate thousands of lines of code at once. The final one is the SDLC management system which monitor and manage each state of the development cycle. It enhances transparency of each state and the project as a whole. The cycle inefficient component can be optimized using the measure. There you are, the seven step of the software development life cycle. Subscribe to your channel to watch more insightful video about app development. See you next time.